chemotherapy, a staple in cancer treatment, faces challenges due to its impact on healthy cells and the resilience of cancer's outer support structures. Now, researchers are fusing it with CRISPR, a gene editing marvel, to create potent and personalized cancer therapy. Olaparib, a potent chemotherapy drug, targets cancer cells but faces hurdles from surrounding support cells, hampering its effectiveness. Its broad impact often results in side effects from the indiscriminate destruction of both cancerous and healthy cells. CRISPR, known for precise gene editing, is being explored in cancer treatment. By tailoring therapies to individual genetic profiles, it aims to enhance treatment response, particularly in genetically influenced cancers like certain types of breast cancer. The challenge lies in combining these two potent treatments, previous attempts face toxicity and lack noticeable possible effects. Enter nanocomplexes, a tool that enhances cell penetration linking CRISPR-Cas9 and Olaparib into a potent combination named Combine. Combine, short for combinatorial and bioorthogonal nanoediting complex, overcomes previous limitations. By linking CSI9 olaparib to PEI molecules, it forms nanocomplexes that penetrate cancer cells effectively, addressing toxicity concerns and achieving synergistic effects. In mouse trials combined showcased a remarkable 70% reduction in tumor growth over 24 days, outperforming individual components. Notably, it exhibited specificity for breast cancer cells with the BRCA mutation, minimizing impact on normal cells. The focus now shifts to optimizing combined for clinical use. With minimal career material and low toxicity, the CRISPR CAS9 conjugate shows promise for systemic delivery. Researchers aim to refine this technology for broader application. The combined breakthrough marks an era in cancer therapy where the marriage of chemotherapy and CRISPR brings hope for personalized effective treatments. In a landmark decision the Food and Drug Administration FDA recently greenlit Roctavian, a groundbreaking gene therapy for severe hemophilia A. As the latest addition to growing repertoire of FDA-approved gene therapies, Roctavian opens a new chapter in medical innovation, promising transformative treatments for a variety of diseases including cancer, HIV, baldness, blindness and today hemophilia. Let's delve into the key aspects of gene therapy, its applications, challenges and the future it envisions for 21st century medicine. Roctavian, the newly FDA-approved gene therapy, offers hope for those battling severe hemophilia A, a rare and perilous blood disorder. Representing a departure from conventional treatments, Roctavian utilizes a single infusion to insert missing genes, potentially providing a lasting solution without the need for frequent injections. Gene therapy, a diverse range of interventions leveraging genetic materials, relies on innovative delivery mechanisms to insert healthy genes when needed. For hemophilia A patients, Roctavian delivers neutralized viruses to the liver, instigating the insertion of crucial clothing gene. This transformative approach could redefine treatment for genetic disorders. Roctavian joins the rank of over 30 FDA-approved gene therapies, ranging from treatments for leukemia to spinal muscular atrophy. While heralded as a medical breakthrough, gene therapy's adoption has been hindered by its high cost. The challenges faced by the regulatory bodies in evaluating the increased number of proposals underscore the urgency and demand for transformative treatments. The cost of gene therapies often reaching eye-watering figures stems from the intricate research and approval processes undertaken by private companies. Fyodor Urnov, a genetics professor, highlights the needs for alternative paths, including academic and non-profit initiatives, to make these therapies more accessible and affordable. While gene therapy holds immense promise, ethical concerns echo those seen in other genetic research domains. Bioethicists raise alarms about change to inheritable genes and the unintended consequences of altering sperm and egg cells. 
Federal laws enacted in 2016 emphasize caution in heritable genetic modifications, underscoring the delicate balance between innovation and ethical considerations. Gene therapy's initial focus on rare disorders has paved the way for broader applications. Researchers envision addressing common ailments like cancer, high cholesterol, and unhealthy weight through gene editing. Harvard professor David Liu sees the ability to alter DNA as a fundamental capability with far-reaching implications beyond rare diseases. The imminent consideration of Vertex Pharmaceutical's CRISPR tool by the FDA signals a potential shift from gene insertion to sophisticated gene editing. In a breakthrough hailed as a medical game changer, CRISPR technology has received approval from the US Food and Drug Administration for treating sickle cell disease. The pioneers of CRISPR awarded the Nobel Prize for their transformative discovery have set the stage for a new era in medicine. Join us as we explore the implications and future possibilities of this revolutionary gene editing technology. For years, scientists have touted CRISPR as a potential paradigm shift in medicine, enabling the precise editing of genes. The recent approval of a CRISPR-based treatment for sickle cell marks a significant milestone in translating this groundbreaking technology from theory to tangible medical solutions. CRISPR, a gene editing technique likened to changing the code of the human blueprint, is poised to revolutionize medical treatments. Dr. Rhonda bessel Dobby, a molecular biology professor, sheds light on the transformative potential of CRISPR and its ability to address the root causes of genetic diseases. With the first CRISPR treatment approved, optimism surged regarding its potential applications. Dr. Basil Dobby envisions a future where CRISPR goes beyond treating symptoms, fundamentally altering our approach to medicine. The permanence of gene correction opens doors to unprecedented possibilities. CRISPR's unique approach goes beyond symptom management. Instead of treating diseases with daily medications, it edits the underlying genetic material, offering a permanent correction. Dr. Basil Dobby emphasizes the transformative nature of CRISPR, challenging the status quo in medical thinking. The prospect of editing genes associated with high-risk conditions such as the BRCA breast cancer gene emerges as a potential application. Dr. Basil Dobby highlights ongoing work in identifying mutations and designing CRISPR components to permanently rectify genetic anomalies, presenting a new frontier in preventive medicine. While the promise of CRISPR is immense, challenges and ethical considerations loom large. Dr. Basil Dobby addresses concerns about off-target effects when unintended gene disruptions may occur. The limitations of delivery, efficacy and the substantial costs associated with CRISPR development add layers of complexity to its widespread implementation. Balancing the transformative power of CRISPR with ethical considerations and overcoming technical hurdles will determine the trajectory of this revolutionary technology, shaping the future landscape of medicine. In a monumental leap forward, the FDA has recently granted approval for a groundbreaking treatment that harnesses the power of CRISPR gene editing technology. Let's unravel the science behind Cascavy, a game-changing therapy that promises hope for those grappling with inherited blood disorders. This month, the FDA gave the green light to Cascavy, a pioneering treatment developed through CRISPR gene editing. The procedure involves a modifying a person's blood stem cells using this cutting-edge technology and then transplanting them back. This marks a monumental shift in the treatment landscape for blood disorders. Initially approved for sickle cell disease in December, Casgevy has now received FDA approval for transfusion-dependent beta-thalassemia. TDT, a hereditary blood disorder causing anemia, and frequent blood transfusions finds a new enemy in Cascavy. Delving into the intricacies, Cascavy works by modifying a person's own blood stem cells. 
These altered cells, once transplanted, anchor and multiply in the bone marrow, promoting the production of fetal hemoglobin. The result? Enhanced oxygen delivery, offering a glimmer of hope for those plagued by blood disorders. Dr. Nicole Verdun, Director of the Office of Therapeutic Products at the FDA Center for Biologic Evaluation and Research, emphasizes the significance of this approval in advancing treatment options. The use of CRISPR CAS9 technology showcases the FDA's commitment to embracing cutting edge medical technologies. To comprehend the impact of Cascavy, let's distinguish between sickle cell disease and TDT. Sickle cell disease, marked by abnormal crescent shaped red blood cells, can lead to excruciating pain episodes and organ damage. In contrast, TDT results from genetic mutations affecting hemoglobin production, causing lifelong anemia and a host of complications. Cascavy, produced by Vertex Pharmaceuticals, presents a beacon of hope for patients aged 12 and older, offering potential cures for both TDT and sickle cell disease. This cell therapy aims to minimize short and long-term side effects compared to traditional stem cell transplants. One of Cascavy's notable advantages is the acceleration of stem cell transplants. By utilizing a person's own cells, the therapy mitigates the need for waiting on external donors, offering a more streamlined and accessible approach. Dr. Sonali Chaduri sheds light on potential drawbacks including short and long-term toxicities such as nausea, infections and infertility. The hefty price tag of $2.2 million for a single course raises concerns about accessibility, especially for those without insurance benefits. In conclusion, Cascavy opens new doors in the realm of blood disorder treatments. While its approval marks a monumental stride, questions about accessibility and potential side effects linger. As we witness at the dawn of a new era in gene editing therapies, the pursuit of an accessible and effective treatment remains at the forefront. Today, we dive into a revolutionary approach in the battle against viral infections. Scientists are contemplating an extraordinary strategy, turning viruses against themselves. This is Actual Edge and let's unravel the future of antiviral interventions. Picture this, a world where we use modified viruses to combat their natural counterparts. Scientists are pushing the boundaries experimenting with gene drives powered by CRISPR, the cutting edge gene editing system. But can this ambiguous idea become a reality? In a recent study, gene drives proved their potential in altering herpes virus 1, HSV1, responsible for cold sores. When normal and modified viruses coexisted in mice, the gene drive successfully transformed up to 90% of the viruses, potentially preventing symptomatic infections. The implications are profound. The concept isn't entirely new. Virologists demonstrated the viability of gene drives in human cytomegalovirus three years ago. However, challenges lingered and attention waned. Now, a new study renews hope showcasing gene drives spreading through most viruses in mice, but hurdles persist. While the experiment hints at promising future, researchers caution that human trials are distant. Questions about the speed and efficacy of the gene drive, especially in critical areas like the brain, need answers. The potential benefits come with risks, and the journey towards human application continues. Another thing that we are uncertain of is the price of these treatments. Some of them have been released already and are over a million dollars, making it totally unaffordable for most of the population. At Actual Edge, we continue to believe in the power of science, but also in governments providing their citizens with the best healthcare possible so everybody can live healthy and long lives. Stay tuned to Actual Edge as we navigate the evolving landscape of viral combat. Before we finish, don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more cutting edge scientific endeavors. Until next time, stay curious, stay informed, stay on the Actual Edge.